Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't have to jump in with you. But... Well, let's film. Hey. Greg, oh. Hey, guys. We're uh, over here at Jaden's Toys. Just got in. What's You're, up, guys? What's we're here. On? Greg, oh, fabulous. Hey. You know his guy? Subscribe to him. He likes I, it when he gets new subscribers. I don't know why our driver's here. Just go out and keep the car running, okay? No, no, no. This is, this is Greg. <laughs> He's like the biggest YouTuber of, this tra no. of the tree was. Uh, no. It's Greg, our retro channel. Yeah, yeah. Bernard. We've been hanging out with him for the past couple of days. Uh, we just got back from our panel over at Retro Palooza, and now we're here in Jaden's Toys. Lots so, of goodies. Lots of goodies. Lots of vintage. Lots of new stuff. All like stuff I want to take a look at, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So let's, let's do it. Wow. I might get this guy. He's, uh, he's decently priced. He's missing some things, but I don't have him. No, <laughs> Take two. That's a good one. What's going on, guys? So we are at Jaden's Toys here in this one. Okay, so you guys know I gotta check out the Timothy Alley. We got some loose figures over here. There's a movie star. One here, actually have a movie star giant up there. Looking pretty neat, I, I've never seen that before. And there's some carded over here. So, let's take a little look. There's a, there's a Trekkie behind there. So, Greco's been doing a little digging over here. He found me the Primal Rage, the Primal Rage Monkey. How much? So, this is the 20. Yeah. I gotta get it. I mean, I was almost gonna pay 10, 20. Uh, like 10 for like a loose one. And they had it out for 20 loose at the other, at Retro Blue that they had it. So, you gotta buy it. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you got a friend in me. So Greco, where you're you from, hey. in, in Boston, do you have like stores like this? We where, do. Like, yeah? Yeah, we Like have a, a dedicated Transformer thing? Oh yeah, then yeah. we have like vintage toy stores. Uh, a few good ones, yeah, spread throughout the state. 
uh, yeah, and they, they cover everything, so not just Transformers. So next year I come over to Boston? Uh, yeah, I mean, we have plenty of hotels you can stay at, lots of lodgings and accommodations. Uh, yeah. But we can meet up, right? All right, should I talk to your agent? <laughs> Why does he always do this to me? <laughs> you, you disappeared like a Facebook seller. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. It's a good move. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. It was like, that's the holy grail for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to be able to buy that today. <laughs> so it's good to look. I, I also have yeah. to bring it over to Europe. So oh, I don't okay. want to put it in a bag and be like, having it crushed when I get for home. Sure. I feel you. Yeah. It's, it's nice to see like, oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Still in nice condition. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's actually a very cool shop. They all have like, one dedicated wall to each big toy line. There's some other ones just thrown out there. Um, I'm seeing some good stuff here, guys. Like this humanoid right there. It's only $50, which I would totally buy if I lived here, but uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to bring this guy on the plane, though. I mean, does he look like, like he could be a carry-on? I don't know. Otherwise, I totally buy him. So I'm gonna have to look for something smaller to bring along. I was checking out the the Master of the Universe part over here. So we got like most of the newer stuff they're coming out with, but they also got some vintage. They even have some vintage on card. Um, I'm gonna see for a couple of figurines over here that I don't have yet. So kind of feeling this guy over here. Pretty cool. I was. Busted. Yeah, busted chicken out of panties. I did, I did. <laughs> Five. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the really? <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares about that. Five Star Trek. Same yeah. Basically anything in here, except for the Primal Rage. Yeah, that was a good one. Are you just saying that? <laughs> no. <for real>. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares, Ed. Basically anything you collect or enjoy, nobody else cares about. I feel loved though. It's, it's good. It's good. I got really cool street sharks over here. Uh, not complete, but I've never seen like a giant one, so that's definitely a cool thing. Like we never see like the variants over here. Yeah, like different colors. That one. Uh, I've seen him though. I've seen him. I've seen him in box somewhere. Street sharks in here. Yeah. Found a little man ball over here. What do you think, Greg? I think you should do it. You should pull that trigger. You should get it? Totally. <laughs> Are you seeing anything you fancy? Um, a couple of things. There's some of the horror stuff I know, over here. Morley. Are, are you like having doubts about something? I'm looking at this. Sectors? Yeah. The, the puppet? The, the puppet. So, I don't know. I might do it. But I already have him. Hey, does this sec Sectars come with a rider? Does this uh, Sectars come with a, with a rider? I believe it comes as this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take that. Sure. You did something today. You did something. Okay, now I'll, I'll, I'll get this. <laughs> now I'll get the Primal Rage doll. I mean, action, fi action figure. Action figure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Battle of the Sectors begins. Heroic Dargon, leader of the forces of good, is ambushed by evil Sectors. With the help of his loyal insectoid, Dragonflyer, he fights them off. But they're just bait for the real trap. A far more treacherous enemy is waiting. The evil General Spytrax. Will Heroic Dargon be caught in his web? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Get your hand in the other hand. That's the wrong man. That's the wrong your other hand, yeah. You got your pinky in the thumb hole there. I think that's a pinky. Oh, that's a thumb, man. Are you sure? Does it matter? That's a thumb. I don't know. That's a thumb, man. I'm telling you right now, that's the thumb hole. <laughs> Put your hand in. There you go, like that. Sweet. Yeah, almost? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. What did you find? Uh, it's a G1 Needle Nose Transformer. I'm, uh, I'm just going to look up something because I'm not sure if he's missing a landing gear here or not. I'm just going to look at my book see if there's supposed to be something there. But uh, if not, I will definitely get it for the price and for a little discount. I'll take it. Guy has that work. That stuff in it. What is Oh yeah, they got yeah. That? Yeah. It's finally just two parts. Two parts. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't know how You're this good. many works. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. We'll follow us in the next you want a backpack? What? You want a backpack? Ah, uh, no, I'll put it in a backpack, so. Yeah, that. This is a little mad ball. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs>Hey guys, I'm back in Belgium over here to show you my pickups I got over at Jaden's Toys. This was a really cool toy store. Unfortunately, it was the last one we were going to hit right before I left for Belgium again from Texas. I had a lovely time in Texas and there is still one more video I need to edit that's coming out. It's uh, when we hit the ginormous garage sale hall, so definitely stay tuned for that one. I'm putting a bit more effort into editing that one. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. So yeah, Jaden's Toys. This was a cool toy store, guys. Um, they had like giant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, movie turtles. Um, unfortunately, I was leaving the day after, so I already packed up. I was like, I got this much space. I can still fill in my suitcase, so I can't really uh, go over that. So they had like the giant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie turtles. They had uh, the movie turtles on card, which is also something I'm looking for. But yeah, those have been going up lately. And over there, they were like, I think 150 to maybe $200. Um, still cool to see, but yeah, I wasn't going to be able to throw that down on the last day because I still need to get home. Um, they also had an Inhumanoid, so the big green one, loved that one, would have loved to taken that one and brought it home. It was $50, which seemed okay compared to like the other ones I saw before that. But anyways, you're here for the pickup, so let me show you the two things I got over there. Yeah, I couldn't really pay too much there, or uh, you know, uh, spend too much because, well, I wasn't going to be able to bring it home. What did I pick up? Over there, I picked up one thing thanks to my buddy Greco Fabulous. Greco was digging around in a tub and finally, after, you know, three days of toy hunting, me bumping into this little figure over here, over at uh, Dallas Fan Days first. Some guy had it out at 10, then over at Retro Madness, we were, we were there, they had it out for 20. Um, and then over here, Greco's like, hey, Dude, look what I found. It's the toy you've been wanting for the longest time. And it's in the box. It's only 20 bucks. So I was like, yeah, I, I now I have to get this. So this is Primal Rage. Primal Rage is one of the video games on the PlayStation 1. I played the dead over at my friend's house. He had a PlayStation. We actually 
this is a cool story. Um, me and my buddy, we sold our toys as a kid. So yeah, I sold off my Mighty Power Rangers for like $5. I, I, I stuck to all my turtles, but I got rid of my Toxic Crusaders, my Godzilla figure, um, everything like that. I sold it over at like this kitty flea market. My buddy sold his stuff too, but he walked over like a couple stands and he started buying PlayStation 1 games. And one of the games in there was Primal Rage and we played that to death that summer. So uh, that game has always been cool and like really bringing me back to my childhood. Uh, I've been wanting to get a figure like this for the longest time and it's cool to have it in, in the package. So thanks Greco, you're like a wonderful friend. Thank you so much. What's even more cooler about this is that it shows me a bit more about what the toy line is about. So basically you had three destructive dinosaurs, then you had the Virtuos Beasts, and then there's also a Super Rage series which I've never seen before. Apparently these are uh, nine inch uh, prehistoric beasts, so they're bigger dinosaurs. Yeah, I've never seen those before and there was supposed to be um, Primal Rage 2 coming to the arcades. I think they may have come to the arcade, but there wasn't like a home console port of that one. Anyways, this little toy came over with the ice pulverizer, so they're on the sides over here. And it came bonus with a mini Primal Follower figure, so that's like the tiny figurine over here in red that you can, you know, throw around with. Anyway, this dude has like the same action most of those figures have, like Tundra Cats, you punch in the back and it goes like. Uh, making some obscene gestures this one <laughs> definitely um, so yeah um, we got like youtuber discount which is totally new to me so everything was I think five or ten percent off making this 18 bucks which was like you know 15 euros I can say no to that so definitely glad with this one from Jana's toys and then me and Craig not another retro channel we were looking over in this uh, glass case and you know glass cases are usually pretty darn expensive so he was looking at this Sektar's hand puppet um, he didn't pull the trigger on that one but I saw with my little eye a little bigger eye in there and yeah I found this mad ball cool eye so this is the oculus eye probably so yeah it says oculus oculus orbus apparently okay so this mad ball is 1986 what's cool about this or maybe a bit strange is uh it's it's mushy it's not like the the hard plastic so this is completely mush on the inside um actually have like other ones this one is like it's not as this is like plastic with just something on the, like there's air on the inside, this isn't. So I don't know if that's like USA versus Europe or not, but yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird to see. This one also seems a bit bigger uh, than this one. These are ones I'm finding over here. This is like the first time I saw this. Unfortunately, he does have a bit of yellowing on the white over here, but hey, still cool. I think I paid 15 dollars for this one they're, they're pretty expensive over there but uh, I had never seen this before and it was so mushy so got that out of glass case Craig was like come on dude you gotta pull the trigger on that or I'm gonna buy it so I was like well okay let's bundle these two up and you know get the discount so yeah Jaden's toys uh, these were my pickups um, they had so much cool stuff. I think Greco even bought stuff over there, and he's always like, you know, I'm more of like a fleet market guy. Um, so, yeah, fun stuff, good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully next week we'll have a new Behind the Collector, or maybe I'll do one of my collection videos. Anyways, we're shooting a new Behind the Collector next week, so definitely stay tuned, and I will see you later, guys. Bye. Yeah, yeah please. Craig was so nice to bring me over, so I've been hitting the shops the past three days, so it's nice. We're a little tired and... Yeah, that's why we're not so... so. <laughs>